Hey everybody, uh, some people ask me to make a tutorial in one of my last videos. Uh, I don't really do build tutorials, um, I'm not really good at the whole talking part and I don't really like making them. But I decided to make something small, a small video, just showing you guys a couple of things I always do in my builds. And you can maybe copy them or improve on them uh, or whatever. So in this uh, video I'm going to show you guys how I do doors windows, a little bit of roofs, and how I decorate the outside of buildings, what, what my philosophy is and what tricks I use to, uh, to, to decorate. I um, hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. If you want to see something else, just leave it in the comments. Uh, just I'm trying something new and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay, we are at the building part. Uh, I'm going to build a couple of things, show you guys what I normally see people do and I'm going to show you guys what I do and why I do it. So let's start off with a uh, wood door. So normally you build a door like this. Uh, you might build a half piece or a full piece on top of it. But you usually just put the door down like this. So what happens if you put the door down, down like this, it barely fits. It just barely fits. But if you take a wooden piece like this and you put it like there, you're stuck. You can't enter anymore. So this is, is this kind of sucks so it's kind of ugly and uh, you can't enter your door so this is what I do I first off place sidebars and I place a stairs then on top of those sidebars I place I'm gonna fly for now but you could build stairs of course I'm gonna build half pieces I'm gonna build a uh, What's this? Actually, a wooden beam, two meters. And I'm gonna grab this little cross section. I'm gonna. It snaps right there. As you, as you can see, it snaps right there. So you put it in. And then you grab a door. Place the door. And if you walk now, it fits perfectly. And now you have a nice looking doorway. So if we finish this, uh, what I would do is I would turn this around. Because on one side it has this, has this line as you can see. So I'm, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to place this piece. I'm going to rec uh, recreate what I made on the side. But I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a twist. So this is kind of the same. So what I do is I place a piece there. Then I place a piece there. I place a piece there. Now this is the hard part. I need to fit a piece right on top what i do is i hold shift so it doesn't it doesn't snap anywhere so if you hold shift you can just move it around easy and find it where it fits then snap those then you snap those and you snap a half piece come on oh wait smart so a half piece there and a full piece there so now your door has a little bit more dimension to it, a little bit more uh, feel of like it's like real and it fits better. Doesn't you don't get stuck easily. And what you can do now is you can maybe add a decoration piece here so you can hang something there or you can grab a torch and you can put it here on the side. So you have a light by your door. Uh, what I always do is I place um, sorry, wooden beams down here, and then I place them down like this, or you can do. So this is actually a fun thing that happens. So it finds all the snapping uh, snap points. So it finds the snap point of the uh, wooden floor, of the wall, of the end of this, uh, these 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 uh, bars. So you can put them in deeper or less deep which is kind of cool um, so what I always do is I prefer to place a couple of beams sticking out like this and then if I make a roof I place it like this and this so it has a little bit of overhang on the side now this next part is really important. Uh, if it rains, this front part will turn light green. 
that's not bad if you like it, but you can do something about it. So what you do is you grab a half piece and you place it right there. Then you grab the wall or the roof and you fit it like this, like this, like this, and like, come on, last piece, like that. Then you grab this. And this. Then you delete that. And, you del and then you grab this piece again. Fit it just the same way. And you fit it on this side. And now. The front part of your house, this part is protected from the rain. Uh, you can even stand under it, which is nice. Uh, you have a little dimension to it, a little more depth. You can do, like, you can go as crazy as you want with it. You could put uh, another bar here, or uh, I don't know, you could grab one of those and put them like this. Like, you, you can go do whatever. Like, but the idea is that you always have something, like, the roofs always stick out a little bit on the sides and on the front and on the back, and you also try to make the wall stick out a little bit so it has this little bit more of a uh, realism feel to it and then the door i use this crossbar uh, section so what i do is i put a two meter beam on top of a uh, beneath, uh, beneath a one meter beam and then i put this cross there and it just works a little bit better as you can see now for stone doors same thing you can enter but it looks kind of shitty so what I do for stone doors is a little bit different. So I first make a it three high like this, one, two, three. Then I want a wooden door in the middle. So what I do is I see so if this one is this is the furthest one that snaps. Then you can go one in, and then it goes all the way to the to the entrance. So what I do is I go to the furthest one, go one in, place it down, grab a bar. Don't snap it. In, don't snap it in the. Um, don't snap it here, like inside. Uh, uh, um, like inside the door. Snap it one before it. So it's that's pretty much in the middle. Delete the door. Do the same thing as with did with the wood door. So you place a half bar. You place a beam. Then you place a cross beam, and then you place a door. But can make this look a little bit better. So you grab this, what is it even called? Archway, right? Stone arch, yeah. And now, it's a, this is a hard part, but it snaps right there. So you place one, beat, one part, and then you do it with this one too. It snaps too, just need to, need to move your mouse a little. And there you go. You go from this to this. Shitty door, cool door. And you're gonna do the same thing here. Place a ornament piece grab a light put it here and there it is cool looking stone door or wood stone door uh, oh and for anybody that doesn't know the best way to make walls because they look the, the coolest is to try to make them go like this like if you grab stone one 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 then put a one piece and then go one one and put it Oh, uh, two piece and uh, one piece. This is how brick workers lay stone too, and it looks so much better than if you do this. This looks weird. I don't know. This looks more realistic to me. Uh, anyway, let's leave all of this. Let's, let's go to the window. Okay, sorry, I had to make a cut there. Um, so. This is what normally people do when they make like a stone wall or part of a castle. So they just uh, they use a one block uh, extension, they make stone archways, and then they make like a window, probably like this, with glass on the back. And this looks fine, but I think you can make this look better uh, or even a little bit different. So this is what I usually do. First, I grab a stone wall one by one. I press shift so there's no more snapping, and now it gets a little bit hard. You need to push this stone block into the wall until it does that. 
So go back a little bit, just before it. There it is. Now you need to try to put it right there. Now you look, it sticks out Ooh, a little bit, a little bit, but it looks fine. So then you snap a one block to it, and then you snap a block one block to that. You delete the middle one. Now you put blocks on top, like this. Then you grab the crystal wall one by one. You do the same thing, you press shift, and you try to go to a little bit to the middle, and you place it. Then you use the wall and the snapping function to place the other two. And then you grab the iron bars. You look what the front is, so you can see like the front is where the arrow is going, but I prefer the back, because the iron bars stick out a little bit. So I go until it turns red, go back a little bit, place it, snap the rest, and then I grab a stone arch. I snap it into this one on the top. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Now you have this small arch with this cool, uh, cool window. Just looks a little bit more clean than than the big window. You can still make a big window, but a small window does, like this looks a little bit more clean. And on the other side, what I really like is this. When you snap it in, it sort of sticks out like this. But if you use the shift key, you can sort of put it nicely into the wall. You get this little edge, which is really nice. Then, this stone arch. So, it looks fine, but what I like to do is give, like to give, uh, give it a little bit more levels. So, first off, I place three of these. Uh, below the uh, where I want to build it. Then I go on top. Again, I'm flying, but you can make like uh, ladders and just go up here. Then when you're standing here, you press shift and you look for the corner. So right there. So I need to go back a little bit because it's red. So keep shift pressed. And then when it goes down, I go back a little bit. There it is. I place it. Then I place this one. And then I place this one. Now I jump down. Delete, delete, delete. Grab this. Snap it into the this one. Snap it into this one. And the difference is that here you had two levels. You had the level that sticks out and the back level. Now you have three levels. You have the level that sticks out, the level in the back, and le one level in the middle. Just gives it a little bit more depth, a little bit more detail, feels a little bit more real. Because when they build castles, they try different things to decorate it. So you can do this on the bottom too, which is nice. So you go like this, press shift, push it in, push it in. Try to keep your cursor on the ground, point it at the ground, and until you're reach it, it goes down, so you go back, one, two, and three, now it has, this, it just feels a little bit different now, and you can make pillars with this, of course, you can just do this, which is also cool, so, so stone is really limited, because they're so big, so if you want to snap things, you get, always get the same shapes, so, if you use the shift function, you can give a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more detail and level to your stoneworks instead of the typical this. Just feels a little bit different, and I personally really like it. The only thing is, when you're working with stone, you need to have a lot, lot, lot of patience. And uh, things usually take a lot of time. So, uh, these are my sort of simple building tips. So, this is what I would do with, with my wooden structures, wooden doors, stuff like that. This is what I do with, stone, with wooden doors in stone, and this is what I do with stone uh, windows. Like, there's way more ways I work with windows, I, things I do. Because so, I also do things like this, place a bar there, just gives it a little bit of a 
a little bit of a cool edge. Uh, sometimes I build big windows. Sometimes I make really small windows. Sometimes I make windows that are uh, like one and a half, and then a wooden bar one and a half. Whatever fits your build, you can try it. But just try to remember, use the shift key, put, try to put things inside the walls, and you get a real, really cool effect. Okay, so I just built this little house. Um, I'm gonna show you guys everything I just told you all put together. And then I'm gonna add a couple of de details to this house so you guys uh, can see how I think about stuff. So first off, um, as you can see, these are different levels. So this wood is a little bit more into the wall. And that one's a little bit higher. So it gives this layered effect. The, uh, the roofs have this overlap on both sides and on the front and the back. The windows, just like I told you, I made this little, uh, little, uh, what do you call it? A uh, little bit of more detailed wall here. And then I made, uh, I made the door I just talked about. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys what I do on top of the roofs. So this is a fine roof. This looks fine. Well, what I like to do is I like to do the following. First, I remove this. I place a new one. Then I place a dragon's head. Then I fit one long bar here. And I, let's see how it looks. Yeah, it should be straight. So I put it like this. Then I put a small one here. So now it gives this feeling of it being like a little bit more solid. I do this on both sides. Like this. And then lastly, I take these things, I put them in, but I do not attach them to the top, I attach them to the bottom. And now you have a little bit of a dragon's back. You could also do this, add these to the sides. I like this too. So now it looks a little bit more like a dragon. Um, another thing I like to do for decorating is, let's say I want this banner. So I put it right, no, wait, I'm not gonna put it there, I'm put it here. So I'll put it right here, in, as much as in the middle as I can. It's always hard. And then I go down a little bit. So now, as you can see, it's not in the middle, it's a little bit below the middle. It's it's sort of on top of this one. And why do I do that? Well, if you grab the bar and you put it on top, now it looks like it's underneath it instead of inside it. But I didn't really align it correctly, so I'm gonna do that again. A bit lower. Nope. This is always the part that takes a lot of time. There you go. And you place this. It's not perfect, but looks fine. So this is what I do with banners. And then let's see, what else can we do? Like, I like to do things like this. Add a bar here. Just to give it a little bit more detail. I also like to put uh, things like this. Like I, This bar sticking out like the, this, it looks like it's a support beam. So try to use stuff like that. Like try to put su uh, bars like this so it looks like it's being supported by something. Then I put it here too. So uh, this is a very simple way of decorating a house and this is a really small house but uh, as you can see in my other builds I got big castles with like a lot of detail a lot of uh, woodwork and decorating and it just takes a lot a lot a lot of time um, uh, which is fine you just need to like if you're doing it without console commands get ready it's gonna take a while 
And if you're doing it with console commands, it's still gonna take a long time. Um, for me, that's fine. I, I like doing it, but um, it's not easy. Just remember that. If you want to see more or if questions about other things I do, just ask them in the comments. Maybe make another video. Maybe I'll just respond to it. Uh, anyway, this is for now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.